Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on MTG Arena. We are here with the Cruel Claw. We are playing Brawl. We finally got it. We just put a deck together, honestly. We didn't try as hard. We did a little bit of fine tuning. Um, has it worked out? I don't think so. I mean, kind of. I think it's shuffled enough now. I don't know. If our opponent actually does anything, or we just sit here and do nothing. Yeah, this is not a search, that's a reveal. I'm drawing cards, so that doesn't matter. Hello? Oh, it's my turn. Okay, there we go. I was like, what? Who am I waiting for? Ooh, Myrix. Oh, it's fine. We can just play the Myrix on turn 4, yep. Now you gotta equip it for 2, yep. It's got haste! And I don't want to play yet until I can, so I play the Urobrask and you gotta counter it. Yep, sounds fine. I'm okay with that. I am A-OK -okay with that. Use all your answers, buddy. Oh, Goro Goro? Ah, sure, why not? Double haste! What are you gonna do? There we go. I was waiting for that. Okay. That's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Go ahead, waste all your spells. Waste all of your spells, buddy. Draw land, please. Draw land now, please. God damn it, fuck you, game. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, that tells me he is enough to kill it. Um, we're tapping two black for this. Oh yeah, we can't play technically that. Oh, so we play this thing for now. Phyrexian Arena. Okay, so they're just gonna keep milling me. This is gonna be so annoying, dude. Oh my god, it's a counter kill spell with mill? Like, this is the fucking shit that I face every single day in this game. Like, what? What? I'm playing the fucking dragon. And then I'm gonna play my Cruel Claw and I'm gonna attack. Before he gets rid of everything in my deck. Like, this man is really just a goddamn menace. Oh, you got rid of- I'm killing your Ashiok. Fuck your Ashiok. I'm killing your Ashiok. I'm gonna thin the deck real quick. For a swamp. Oh, there's there's no more lands? Oh no, basic lands. There's no more basic lands. Okay. Ah uh, yeah, we play the Grow Club then. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. I really hope this works, come on. Gotta get something good. I'm just, I'm fucking, I don't know what to do at this point. Decline. I just don't know what to do at this point, game. You're not fucking doing anything for me. You're just being a piece of absolute shit. Yep, yep. Wait, so are you- No, there's swamps in the- Oh, wait, I forgot that uh, Ashiok doesn't allow us to do anything with that. Yeah, that sucks. Take action. Yeah, I'm putting it in the exile. Go ahead and kill everything. Yep, that's fine by me. If I can get a lands, I would be so happy. Uh, yep, there we go. That's okay with me. If I could write you a song to make you fall in love, I would already have my heart. Uh, yeah, bye now. You're milling me. Mm -hmm. If I'm able to get to 10, the opponent is dead, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Keep doing your fucking draws. 
Yep, there's the murderous rider. He's in desperation now, yep. Protecting him from blue and green. Up, uh, okay. Uh do we have enough to kill it? Oh we do. Okay, Cruel Claw, I swear to fuck, if you do not give me what I need. I don't break this, yeah, I know. I had one mana, because I had to kill your thing, that's why. So I could deal two damage to him. Because he still has to kill all my stuff. Oh no, was that all of them? Wait, what? Okay, not every single... Eldrazi, not every single one. Dude, I swear to fucking god, if he just has every fucking mill thing in his. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he can't block. Yeah, there we go. And he exiles everything. Nice. And then 2 5, okay. Ooh. Uh, give that, make a 2-4, wait, this is, makes it 3, what does this do? Tire player mills 4 cards, okay, so we just kill his thing then. Yeah. Exile that. Wait, so if I give this 5, 6, no, if I give this haste, he's gonna have to block one thing, yeah. If I play this thing. And then I give haste to two plus two. So this is three damage in the air. Yeah, actually we do that. We attack you with everything, brother. Yep. Fuck you. No, I, I, I don't. I'm not a good game, Raniki. You go fuck yourself. Fuck this mill. Go, go touch grass, brother. Seriously. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe that that is what we're facing every single time. Like, there's just so much better stuff to do than control, mill, discard. Like, why do you just want your opponent to not play what they have? That's not in the spirit of magic, is it? It's just in the spirit of not caring. You just want to win. Alright, Camellia the Seed Miser. I'm okay with token decks. Even token decks are crazy, because you just need ball wipes after that, but uh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this is good. This is good, I'll keep this. Yeah, because we have the haste, and we have the felonous rage, just in case they get rid of the rapid battery. Yep, it's a haster. It's a baster. <laughs> I have to go for swamp again. I have that song stuck in my head. Okay, we go for swamp. And then on the battlefield. Uh, next. Attack with the 1-1, one, one. go ahead and kill it if you want, I could care less, and turn. <laughs> no, sure, I don't care about the Savvy Hunter. Uh, no attacks, yep. He's gonna play something else, think he's gonna be fine, but in reality he's not. Don't make a token. He's attacking with the 3-3? Three, three? Okay, make a food. No blocks. Yeah, brother. You kill my thing, I'm killing your Camilla. I am killing your Camilla. Yup. Yup, see? It's just... I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you killed that thing. Take action, yep. Yeah. That's fine. 
We do this and then we do this. Fuck you. That's what I meant to say. So we have four. If we get... Oh no, we have enough to play Infamous and the uh, Felon's Rage. Okay. As well as have the, the rabbit thing. Yep. Yeah, but one one with first strike. Got it. What is this? This only gives you plus two. Yeah. And then when it dies, it doesn't help me with anything. Okay. Okay, the Aklazots. No attacks. Yep, now you got an Aklazots. Aklazots, the deepest betrayal. We're not making them this card, but uh, hey, it's a good card. Makes us bats. Draws us cards. <laughs> it's basically undying so long as it's not exiled. Yep, gotta play the Chatter Fang Squirrel General now. You have three mana. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll block the distance. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. I know he had a combat trick, so I didn't do anything. Okay, so I could just play Massacre Worm and screw them over. Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Auto pay. Massacre worm. Have fun with this, bitch. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's fine. Uh, it's not the same thing as uh, me targeting them. I'm not targeting them. I'm targeting you, dumbass. <laughs> oh, baby. I draw a card. Oh, that's beautiful. That's so beautiful. And we gain four life. Oh, amazing. You don't want us to play our Cruel Claw? Well, that's fine by me. Get Aklazots. Yep, you gotta take care of the Massacre Worm. It's a 6 5. So, with this thing, you sacrifice everything that you want. Okay, yep. Transform it. Thank you for the land, brother. I'm at seven now. We go up to eight, and I still—I can only play the famous cruel claw. God damn it! Unless we get a two drop. Don't play a creature. You have four mana. Okay, he can't do it. We're good. Wait, I thought it returned to his hand. Huh? Okay. Uh, so we play the cruel claw. Felonous Rage! And yep, we just go all in. Yep. Yepers, peppers, and then we transform this and we get the Ulamog. That's what we do. That's why Ayara is in the deck. Because she can do work. Of course, the Ulamog only gains haste, but uh. Uh. Yeah. We discard the land first, obviously. Create a chat treasure token, yep. Oh, look at that, you just played your commander and lost, yep. Good for you. I'm skipping that because you don't need to know. If you're not gonna make a good game, you don't need to know. All they're trying to see is uh, how they can make more money by charging you where you're being happy and giving you appropriate, I guess, recipro reciprocation for that. See, I love this set because the cards are crazy and wacky, just like the last one, Modern Horizons. But I also hate it because it's pretty much just changed everything about the game. Like, you can't enjoy it the way it used to be. And I wasn't saying it was that enjoyable before, but at least uh, I could play stuff at a moderate speed and not having to worry about being absolutely annihilated by everything and everyone. Uh, oh, that's a lamb. We'll just keep that on top and play it as a land. I keep always wanting to use its X version, but I never end up doing that, so let's just enter tab. Yep. Yep. Girl clock, go ahead and kill it.
because I never lose my commanders. So just playing a three drop for three mana and having them t to use Fateful Absence, so much better in my in my uh, wait. Okay, yeah. No. I was also thinking of having in a yard deck like the Cruel Claw too, because it's very similar, you know. So we do that. Um, sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Yeah, screw you, dude. This is gonna be a back and forth, you already know it. Have fun with that. Have fun living, brother. Once I get six mana, you're dead. Uh, we just do this. Yeah, we need our cards. Get a goat, sure. Get your fucking goat. I don't give a shit about your goat. Uh... No, we want to surprise them. We want to surprise them. So we just do this. And we end the turn. Yep. And then we play the mountain. And then we can do our Crow Claw. Baleful Mastery. Or sorry, uh, Felon's Rage. We can still play the Baleful Mastery. You're welcome. Now it's gonna cost so much mana. Oh my god, we draw this fucking Ulamog every second. Uh, so... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... We play the Cruel Claw. Monsters fell in his rage on it. And we put the Ulamog in the graveyard because we're not going to be able to use it anyway for now. Ah, of course, if we have a fucking nothing on top of our deck, then it doesn't matter, does it? Literally wasted. We had all the opportunity to get something good. Did we? No. They stalled us long enough for the Ulamog to never show up in the right place. Always shows up in our fucking hand. This is what I hate about this game. It's like it doesn't let you have the cards in the right place, ever. It makes the probable improbable. Uh, we put Toxic Mites, I guess? There's literally nothing else I can do until I draw land, right? So... Okay, get something good. Oh, okay, yeah, we're doing that. I'll just submit this one. Lone Horror Dracusar. Oh, it was two lands. Okay. Resolve, yep. You get a 3 1. Short. Okay, so now I have to kill his creature, but first, I'll just play this side. Sure, you get to draw a card. Um, yeah. You tackle this thing. He can block. Actually, yeah, there we go. <laughs> He's not gonna block the Cruel Claw. He's gonna lose either his Dawnbringer or his Cabal. Yeah, see? what I said. what I say? I know, I know, I know how he plays. Ooh. Four mana. Oh, well, how much? Four, five, six, seven. Ooh. I'm gonna uh, put this in my hand because we can get another lands from Boneheart Dracusar and we can also draw into one and that'll be enough to play the overwhelming forces. <laughs> He's gonna hate me, but uh, hey, I'm okay with that. Yep, make him food tokens, put a counter stuff. Oh, the Epis for Sentinel with the two mana. Yeah, I'm not paying that, don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Hello? <sighs> it's your go, buddy. Fateful absence. Nice. Isn't this supposed to describe 
race to his grandfather, but someone else had gotten there first. Yeah. Look at his face. He's filled with rage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, look at that haste. I hope it doesn't matter. We need uh, at least one land out of the top three cards of our library. We draw one, we exile two with Bone Horde. Come on, baby. You got something for us, don't you? I'm not blocking, brother. I don't pay life. <laughs> uh, your graveyard. Oh, hey, I forgot about this, by the way. Uh, how much is that? Hexproof. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we resolved it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a 3-3 with Annihilator. You're welcome. Hey, also, uh, have this. Thanks for the cards, buddy. So, you're not dead this turn. Oh, wait. Oh, he is dead this turn. Okay. He and I, he has to sacrifice three permanents. <laughs> You're dead, dude. That's more than 17. <laughs> That's more than 17. Okay, yeah. That's how the deck works. There we go. Enough haste enabling that our deck actually works. Oh, we also have the Ayara to bring stuff back. So it's definitely a lot more mid-range than you think it would be. But it works. And when it does, it's beautiful. Did you see that? That beautiful combo? If only we had multiple copies of those cards, you know. We have two different Ayaras. One of them combos with Bitter Blossom or just token generation in general. We have a little bit of token generation. It's enough that um, if we're down low in life, we can gain enough life just a little bit. Oh, Niv Mizzet Supreme. Is that the five colored one? He looks so cool. Oh no. Oh yeah, it is the five colored one. Nice. Uh, this is fine. I'm just gonna Ura Brass Forge. The opponent goes first, though. Hmm. Or I need something better. Oh, okay. This is this is a lot better, I guess. If we draw a red land, please. We have to keep this at this point. I'm talking about the exile, because I know he's... Okay, we just drew fucking black land. Alright, of course, yep. We're not drawing a red land for the next five turns. Watch this. We're not drawing a single red land for the next five... Oh. I uh, stood mistaken. I uh, stood mistaken. We drew the rest of vents. We have everything we need. We're back on track, people. Life never ended. We never died. Okay, so here's what we do. We play this thing now. Let them do whatever they are going to do. They are all colors. Each instance starts to exactly two colors as jumpstart. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I like dragons, so I hey, your deck it gets the seal of approval from me. Niv Mizzet Supreme, Dragon Avatar, ready to kill. Okay, so he's defense of the heart. Great. Now I can't trigger that thing, but uh, oh, we have a hair gas in our hand. That's ridiculous. Uh, do we get rid of their Sika? I think we have to exile that thing, actually. Oh. Oh, that is perfect. See, that's why we have that card in this deck. Uh, burn down the house. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be using it right now. I can tell you that much. He has not enough lands, or he doesn't have the right lands to play his thingy. Okay. Phyrexian Arena, I mean, we're so far ahead of him, if we don't... No, because we can play stuff off the top of our library, so we do this. Uh, it's a Nether Goyf, we can play it until on the turn, but... Uh, wait, cancel. Actually, yeah. Should we get rid of the swamp? Ah, screw it. We get rid of the swamp. 
It's a nether goif. We need to keep the nether goif on the- okay. Or planeswalker spell, nested controller. Oh. What is this? Okay, resolve. Play this land. Oh, play this. Uh, select two cards to manifest. One, two. Any time for its mana cost of its a creature. Okay, good to know. Uh. Actually, yeah, because we can gain the life from that, right? Oh, okay. I'll end the turn. Bolas is sitting on coming in clutch, dude. Yeah, you have two creatures. I understand. I understand. Three lands. He has one other card in his... So, three lands, yep. And he gets two creatures, yep. When he sees what uh, Haragast is, he's gonna not be very happy. Oh, that's not very good. A 5-5 five, five flyer. Wait, that means we're dead. Oh, good game. What the fuck is that bullshit? Oh my god, he gets he has the right fucking cards for everything. This is so dumb. We're just, we were this close to winning. Like, I guess if we didn't use that, but even then, like... Oh, I should have put the hair gas down. Why did I pay mana for that? I could have just put the hair gas down instead. I don't think it would have helped me even then, but still, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. It, this is what I mean. Like, you're so close to winning and the opponent just... Oh, I have the perfect card to counter your deck because Wizards like sucking me and giving me rim jobs on the daily. Like, it's Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it, it literally cannot get worse. This game is so bad, I think Yu-Gi-Oh is even better than it, and that's saying a lot. Oh, great. Look at that. We get nothing good. Uh, yeah, this is this is not good, Chiefs. And we have to put one back. Actually, um, no, cause that brings a, yeah. So we put a back a swamp, and we just find the swamp, you know. Okay, is this this is a Brea Ethereum Shaper? Okay, nice. The deck he played was awesome. I'm not saying it was bad. I think it was just annoying that I had to deal with that. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Swamp. Like, it's literally the fucking card that just counters us. Oh yeah, not only are you able to put two things on the battlefield, but you get these two specific cards that put enough power on the battlefield so that you die because of the actions you took earlier. It's like, okay, so what was I supposed to do? Just let him fucking kill me anyway? Because he was going to have that anyway. So again, it just it hurts my brain sometimes. Goro Goro, a disciple of Ryuse. Goro Goro, disciple of Ryuse. Okay, black, white, red, blue. Yep, this is Brea. He's got three mana. He's probably going to kill the Goro Goro. I mean, hey, if it was me, I would kill the Goro Goro, just in, just in general. This should be gain 3 life. I don't know why it's only gain 2. Okay, you have Mr. Minaches on your sides, I see. Um, should we just play the Cruel Claw? No, because we can give it haste, so we do this. Yep, there we go. Yep. Uh, Bitter Triumph still. We have Emrakul because, you know... I love how when we played, there's literally four fucking Eldrazi in this deck. Four fucking Eldrazi. Literally 4% of the deck is this card, and I have one every single fucking time I play this game within the first three turns of the game. You can tell Wizards just love sucking dick. Infamous Cruel Call should not be that hard to play. It should not just give you a fucking Emrakul. Like, it's so dumb. Yep. Do I get your haster? Mm -hmm. Mm 
Ooh. I can't play the Cruel Claw, but I can play that. That's a pretty good card. Okay, so I need to spend five, six mana. So if I get two more lands, I can do this combo. Cruel Claw, you're able to get the haste with the Goro Goro. Okay, there's Brea. Sacrifice to her she deals three damage to any target. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, do we kill the Brea? I think we have to kill- we have five mana. Yeah, we just killed the Brea. Uh, pay two life. Lose these two. You gotta play your Brea again. I'm not gonna let him just cast it. Uh, so... Equip. Over to him. And now it's dealing four damage. And it has protection from all the stuff that he has. Ah. Uh, one, two, three, four. We need the land first. Surveil to into my graveyard. Hmm. Actually, we do it this way. Uh, discard a card. We do this. We get rid of this thing. I don't have madness. Decline. I don't have madness. <laughs> I don't have madness. Three. Okay. Oh wait, I just realized I can make five fives. What am I doing? I'll just make five fives. I'm sorry, what the f Fuck, reanimate, you lose life equal to its mana value. Brother. Okay, well, he gains control of my creature, yep. He's at five life. Oh, when you cast it. Never mind, that's not as good as I thought it was. He can still block, he has a 12 tough flyer that can block. Alright, well, that sucks. I guess he gets to fucking reanimate. We can just make 5-5s five though, if that's the thing. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Resolve. Go ahead, attack. I could carry less. Yep, you have to attack, because it doesn't do anything unless you attack, because it does nothing, literally. Uh, my turn. Ooh, land, that's perfect. Uh... With an attacking modified creature. So we have to attack with the Goro Goro, it dies. Before it dies, we play this thing though, right? So we play the Cruel Claw. We give it the Rune of Speed, he's gonna have to double block, right? Yeah. Draw a card, and uh, yeah, we attack with both of them. Okay, he blocks the Ryu. You can't block the infamous Cruel Claw, it's a double block, yep. You're taking four damage here, buddy. You're taking four damage. <laughs> He's trying really hard. He's trying really hard. <laughs> You're not saving your life, buddy. Trust me. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll play that. Okay, so I just equipped both of the swords and then he has to keep back... He can't even block once I equip them, though. Just please don't have a kill spell. It's an artifact deck, right? He just drew his card. What you gonna do, buddy? Where's your Bray? Is it still in the... This is such a cool art, too. I love the new art that they made for her. I like her other art, too, though. She looks like the uh, Sentinel, whatever it's called. You're just gonna attack me and try and kill me? Like, okay? Is this enough? Wait. 6, 7. No, it's 17. 
good game. Ah, oh, six, eighteen, yeah. It's just enough. It's just enough. God damn it, bro. Twelve, wait, yeah, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, yep. It's just enough. Like, I don't understand. This is what I mean! We're so fucking close to winning and they just get one fucking card in their deck that just wins them the game. I... T t t so dumb. This is retarded on so many levels. And when we hit the when we hit them with the fucking cruel claw, we never get anything good. It just it takes way too long. Or they just have the perfect card to just follow up and kill us. It's the same fucking thing over and over again. The cruelest fucking game in the planets that has ever been made, literally. It is so dumb. And your opponent just takes fucking forever. It just makes no sense. Like if you have the ability to kill me instantly, just do it. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to keep this since they're going fucking first and we want to thin out our deck. Get a mountain into play. Phineas Archer, he gets it instantly. Yep. Sacrifice a creature. I don't even have. Oh, wait. He's not even going to. Oh, okay. Psh, I'm okay with that. It's plus two, plus zero into the turn. Okay, so it's a three-two. Nice, good to know. Ooh. No lands though. That sucks. You got mana screwed. That was very good for us though. Uh, do we just play the cruel claw? Yeah. Because whatever they play, we just kill, so we can hit it with the infamous, with the infamous Cruel Claw. I was going to go Yara, but then I thought about it and I was like, nah. Unless they have an answer, it's pretty much just me hitting them here. And please, just don't fucking let me draw an Eldrazi. There's literally four or five, I think, in my fucking deck at most. There's literally less than a tenth of my deck, and I get it so often. No blocks. I'm not blocking that. It's my Cruel Claw, dude. My Commander. You think I'm gonna do that? Ossification? Okay, nope. Nice. Okay. Uh, we still kill their thing, I think. Right? Yeah, we still kill their thing. So we exile this. Yep, we apply this thing. Um, should we just get rid of the? Yeah, cause we have four mana, so we now we have five mana in our hand. We have five, so we have six mana in total, so we can just play stuff from our hand. Yeah, we play the Junji next turn. Hit him with the Junji. They keep getting mana screwed. Like this is dumb. This is the way I win, really. You get fucking mana screwed. Fucking wizards to cost. Take a dick and die. Like really anybody would just overtake this company. Just buy whatever leftover stuff of the dead people who have passed away. Whatever the heritage. Whatever it's called. They would just buy it and actually make the game a game. Instead of this travesty of a game. Not even a game. I can't even call it that. I call it a, a pyramid scheme. How about that? A pyramid scheme as with a card game somehow locked into it. We have both the Yaris. Yeah. Of course we hit the Haster. This is what I mean! You never fucking hit the Eldrazi. And when you do, it's too late. Like, I just... <laughs> Two mana, one mana. Okay, we make him sacrifice it, I guess. Like, what else are we gonna do? We play the Ayara. Yeah, we play the Ayara. Because now we have trip double Ayara. Uh... So we make him sacrifice it. Yep. And we just have this as a protective thing. We're only attacking with this. Only attacking with the Cruel Claw. Ah. Uh, nah, let that be exiled. Look at this, this 
fucking look at this look at what wizards does they obviously don't want me to get anything they're just giving me lands and cards that you don't exile with that card now you got some big rabbits buddy i understood all right i'm gonna play this fucking firex in arena for god duty and country um is there a creature oh i can play the bristly bill that's what i want to do okay so this is what we do we have to play the sayara though right yeah wait 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 we sacrifice the junji draw a card we bring back the bristly bill sacrifice this uh loses two cards yeah no I get this thing. Draw a card. Nice, of course. Play a Yara. We transformed the Yara. We have played the Junju. We can play everything out of the graveyard now because we can just see double Yara, double Yara combo. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm attacking you with the one one and a three three. You can get rid of your commander, but now you're even more backpedaling. The reason I'm doing that is because I have more options. Yeah, I'm getting rid of your commander, brother. What the fuck are you to like? What are you smoking, brother? Of course I'm doing that. I'm making you use it. Take action. It's fine by me. Oh, and it, it, it dies. It dies multiple times, so we're just keep summoning the Junji. Because the Ayara, when she transforms... Oh, this is so great. This is so great. This is so good. And we play the Cruel Claw, we let- we should have let it die, honestly. Oh no! He killed my thingy. Okay, yep. We don't get to- we have one land at least, so at least the Bristly starts, uh, pumping. Yeah. He's gonna attack with those two. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Phineas. I don't know why you did that, but okay. You should've just held back with him. Look at this art too. That's so cool. Oh wait. Protection from green as well. One, two, three, four. Oh, we don't have enough. To oh, we do. We do. We do this. Put a counter on Bisley Brill. We transform this, right? And uh, what does this do? Sacrifice another black. So we go to this first. So we only attack with the crew. Oh wait, no, we didn't play the crew class. So we attack with, or we sacrifice it. We draw a card, right? Yeah, we attack with this. Actually, yeah, we just attack with everything. I I don't know why we're not attacking with everything. It's dead. <laughs> Yep. So the thing is that uh, you can tap her since it's an instant ability. It's just a tap ability. And sacrifice the creature before you have to sacrifice it at the end of the end step. Therefore, it still activates the ability on Junji, which is your opponent just discarding two life or two cards and losing two life. Or there you're getting a creature back from the graveyard. And it's amazing. It's just amazing. The combos work so well in the deck when they do. I think this is no because we only have two lands you know what we'll, we'll, we're gonna test it we go first right I believe oh you have the bear oh it's a Sika god of the tree I still haven't gotten those cards from Kaldheim they didn't have mythic packs back then did they or I didn't spend my my coins on that Hello, are you, uh, Yoo-hoo, it's your go, buddy. It's a hand, like, <laughs> yeah, we don't have any black mana, but we do have red, so I will play this thing. We need to draw a lane. 
If we don't draw a land here, I'm just gonna instantly restart. Oh, we drew a land. Thank goodness. Oh, heaven lords. It's all... All is wonderful and great and lands. And man's cuckoo. Yep. And we can give our Kuroko haste now with the Trailblazer. It doesn't even cost mana. Even better than Goro Goro, in my opinion. But hey. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Yeah, because we can just play this out of our graveyard, so we just do that. <laughs> also, oh, they're from the same, no, not from the same set, but they have the escape and technically similar because it's an exile, but this is technically in the graveyard, which is different, I guess. Um, we didn't draw land there. That's great. So... Huh. Okay. This has Surveil, yeah. I thought I had Convoke. We could sacrifice a creature, yeah, it doesn't matter. Ah, damn it. Okay. We gotta just end the turn. There's nothing to do. He's not dead next turn, but he has one life. Oh, uh, well, he gave up. Alright. See, there's like, there's the like games like that where they're just one minute, and I'm like, okay. All right, we'll do we'll do one more. We'll do one more. It seems like everybody who plays this game enjoys the longer sessions, and I am I agree with that. I do hate the fact that Wizards just ruins the game in that sort of vibe. Okay, three mana. Ah, uh, no, we need better hand. Yeah, this is way better, way better. Oh, so much better. Oh, baby, it couldn't have been better. Don't have okay. No time. Uh play another goif, I guess. Yeah, play another goif. Another goif. It has a plus one plus one. No, I'll end the turn. Yeah. No, we we need to save this for our infamous cruel claw. Jax, Yagmoth, Praetor, we just gotta get rid of that as soon as they play it. Vorpal Sword. Okay. Interesting. Oh, wait. No, no, no. How do I go back? Ha. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll just pay three life, whatever. Whoa, what just happened? What the heck just happened? What the heck was that? Okay. Did you see that? On my screen, I saw the card all the way up here. Don't do that again. Just show me up here. Right here. There we go. Okay, it's back to normal. Okay. So we kill their thing or we start on our thing? I think we kill their thing. Yeah. No, no, we start on our thingy. Oh, baby. Um, two lands, one, two, three. Yeah, I guess we do this one because we can still play that as a land, right? Massacre Worm. It's just a 6-5, honestly, but if their creatures die, then we get to do stuff. So Uberbrass Forge is going to come clutch. Equip. All right, it's a 5-3 death touch. I am going to block it. You know I will block it. I have all the Z blocks in the world. You play this thing. Yeah, now you're dealing with a lot of damage here, brother. Uh... Uh, so we go one, two, three. Okay, he's blocking the Massacre Worm because he doesn't want to take a lot of damage. That makes sense. He's probably going to buff his commander or kill the Massacre Worm. One or the other. 
Oh, okay, he's gonna lose life though, and I don't lose my Massacre Worm, so that's great. Now do the Crow Call again. Oh, baby, yes! Screw this thing, I'd rather play stuff from Throne Horde Dracosar. <laughs> Alright, yep, the deck is working like it needs to now. I think I've almost made it perfect, but it's, it's uh... Yeah, it's a black deck, alright. Take action. I still have the Urobrask Forge. Oh, okay. Three, four, five, six. So five, I don't have enough for that, but... This thing becomes big. Yeah, we'll just play the crawl crawl out just for it to die. Whatever, I have nothing else to do. Like, if he wants to block it, he can. He, if he doesn't, he doesn't. Cut. Three damage next turn. Keep that in mind, brother. We could always play a nether goif with the, with the... A speedy nether goif, as they say. And what do we have? We have creature, creature, creature. Instant, land, sorcery, enchantment. So what we want to do is get another creature, land, sorcery, instant, enchantment. Like any, anything, literally anything, yeah. Anything in our, in our graveyard would be nice. Mm. Yep. There's the black market connections. Nice. You're going to be losing life though if you make stuff. Yeah, you have to pay mana for that. I see. Interesting. Um. Yeah, you're down to five, buddy. Five, six. Yep, I discard this, obviously. Um. Two other cards. Yeah, I do this. So, cr four creatures, so we exile two creatures, right? Yeah. Not the nether goyf, because the nether goyf itself we need. Yep. You gotta sacrifice the Vorbro Sword and the Black Market Connections or the Black Keep. Like, pretty much they can't do anything. It's over for them. This is the last game, by the way, people. I do apologize, but uh, it's been an hour, so. <laughs> I've been playing this deck way too long. Mm. Yep, I have a trampler. You have seven mana, but you need eight in order for that to work. Five, six, seven, eight, yep. Oh, that's fine. That's fine by me. S still not enough to kill me. He was almost dead, but okay. Um, Goro? Yeah, I play the Goro anyway. Why not? Because I have two other cards from your graveyard. Hmm. So we target the Goro Goro. And we exile two creatures again. God damn it. So. I think it's gonna have to be the Goyf. No, that's a that's value. So we do these two for now. Because we still have a lot of cards. So if we can get it back, it's gonna be so much value. Oh, they're dead anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. They, they, they never took care of the Urobras Forge. I'm telling you, this Urobras Forge is literally the one thing that saves me half of the time. Because <laughs> they just don't deal with it and it ends up screwing with them. Well, that's it for the video. Thank you all for watching. 218 subscribers this time I checked. Y'all are amazing. Keep going. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for the video. Thank you all for watching as always. And I'll see everybody in the next video.